A Brussels health inspector lashed out as vaccine centers remain empty after comments from Emmanuel Macron on vaccines disrupt rollout. Brussels health inspector Ing Nevin frustratingly snapped at a BBC reporter during questions on the European rollout of coronavirus vaccines. The BBC News correspondent asked whether it was disappointing that vaccine centers that have the capacity to vaccinate thousands of people a day are near empty. Ms. Nevin admitted that she was frustrated but there was nothing that she could do. This comes as anger grows at French President Emmanuel Macron after he attacked and questioned the effectiveness of the UK's Oxford and AstraZeneca vaccines. This backlash grows as the United Kingdom continues a successful vaccination program across the country in comparison to EU member states. BBC presenter Rita Chakrabarti explained the growing anxiousness from the EU on the struggling vaccine rollout. She said, European leaders are meeting to work out how to speed up the rollout of vaccines across the continent. In some parts of the EU vaccination rates are a fifth of the rate in the UK. Some countries are now reporting a reluctance to take the AstraZeneca vaccine after countries, including France and Germany, made the decision not to use it on older patients. Speaking to BBC's Jean McKenzie, Ms. Nevin said, It is a pity there is not a lot of people this afternoon. It is very quiet. There are not enough vaccines at this moment in time, Ms. McKenzie replied. It is quite shocking to arrive and to see such a huge vaccination center and see it totally empty. Is that not disappointing for you? Ms. Nevin snapped. Yes, of course it is, but what do you want me to say? Of course it is disappointing but I cannot do anything about it. In January the French president claimed the AstraZeneca jab was quasi-ineffective. This was not long before the EU's drugs regulator approved the use of the vaccine for all adults. These comments have sparked skepticism among citizens on the vaccine and resulted in a heated backlash directed at President Macron.